Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Anahil and today is Ramadan day 27. So guys, yesterday was Lilatul Qadr and while well, we reached the 500 subscribers, I wanted to th thank you guys and inshallah if you keep supporting us, we'll reach to a thousand subscribers inshallah and I just wanted to thank all of you for your support. Today is uh, a bit cloudy, partly cloudy, and well, but it's still sunny, warm. Um, it's a nice temperature. Uh, now I'm heading home, and once we reach there, I'll tell you the plans we have for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, guys. Um, so uh, it's 5:35, and today I had an extra class of judo lessons. And now I came out from school and there are 40 to 45 minutes to break our iftar. The leaves, they are very, very orange and they are a lot in the ground. See you in the iftar time. This is our iftar table and for iftar we had some orange juice, some chicken pinwheels, some pakora and samosa. We also had fruit chart and a date to break our fast. After Maghrib we ate biryani. Now it's time to open our daily countdown calendar. So as always we have our treats, our liquor of the day. And our hadith of the day. So while we got our treats, you can go ahead and watch Mariam series, Flowers of Heaven. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. I am Mariam with my series, The Flowers of Heaven. Do you know who are the losers in the month of Ramadan? Loser is someone who witnessed this month of Ramadan and didn't take benefit of it. When someone fasts but don't change himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't need his hunger and thirst. So he loses the reward of his fasting. A loser is that lazy person who let their time pass and delays good deeds. As you know, Ramadan is the month of forgiveness. So everyone should seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a person didn't earn pardon in the month of Ramadan from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the loser of Ramadan. When a person loses hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, he is a loser. Because we should not lose hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy because desperation is sin and we must seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and give us a lot of blessings and barakas that's all for today Jazakallahu khaira assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hope you like my series. Now let's watch Mana segment of the character. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salam, assalatu, assalamu alaikum, ya rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am an ahil with my segment, the Ramadan reminder. So today's zikr is, O oh Allah, our Lord, send us from, from heaven a table set that there may be for us. For the first and last of us, a solemn festival and a sign from you, and provide for our sustenance, for you are the best sustainer. So this is a dua made by Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, it's from Surah Maida, and Hazrat Isa made this dua and so that people can eat food from it. And Hazrat Isa alayhi salam said, do not preserve this food tomorrow, for tomorrow. Uh, that means I do not take it home for the other day or something like that. 
and however uh, his followers disobeyed him they obeyed the order of allah and uh, they took it and preserved it and uh, well they practically stole the food from the table and disobeyed the orders of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and um, and as a result of that uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the table away and the table disappeared so Jazakallah khairan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh So it's time for the last segment of the day the hadith of the day so now we'll go and watch that Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers and sisters I am Maria Mod my segment the hadith of the day and today's hadith is Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said who he who believes in Allah and the last day must not harm his neighbor and he who believes in Allah and the last day must show hospitality to his guest and and he who believes in Allah in the last day must speak must speak good or remain silent so this hadith tries to say that the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala believer must have three qualities. The first one is take care of your neighbor. The second one is be show, you have to show hospitality to your guests. And the third one, you have to not say bad words or bad things. You have to say good things and or keep silent. Hola, chalfa, tu rey, jazakala, jujera, salam alaikum, rahmatullahi, wa barakatuhu.